personal transport on a large scale has been uh, the trend for the past 100 years but if you look at it from a mass system uh, it's a very inefficient system because personal transport is primarily pegged on ownership of vehicles and uh, these vehicles are uh, basically uh, idle when they are not used and uh, this is the fundamental uh, problem that sharing economy is trying to solve sharing economy is uh, uh, the fundamental one is to re- improve the efficiency and the other one is to create an on demand system i mean you use a particular resource only when you need it otherwise the resource is given back to the free pool uh, this uh, facilitates a lot of things like uh, non ownership i mean you don't need to have a huge capital investment into buying your vehicles you don't need to spend a lot on the fuel and a lot more and uh, you also optimize the road transport by uh, putting in more people into these private vehicles the second area that i am really interested in intelligent connected transport it would be great if uh, cars can act as on road sensors the yeah, cars can act as on road agents for people to collect data from the roads so this data can be as trivial as how the traffic is and as complex as how the road is uh, how the road is or how the transportation flow pattern is uh, so uh, cars can actually uh, feed this data back to the grid where a big data analytics uh, engine can process it and this can uh, lead to a huge macroeconomic change where uh, instead of having people uh, looking at actual traffic they can look at the traffic data in order to optimize their routes so uh, in order to optimize like say signal time sure how how big should a signal be uh, this can be hel- uh, this can be fed in with the help of cars or with the with the help of type of transport that's going in so intelligent and connected transport is again a huge uh, area of interest